Hello, what's up? It's Kate. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. That was hard to do because I feel like I haven't done this sit down video in so long that I don't even know what to say. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how I edit my Instagram photos. Recently, I've been getting into like that pastel, not just like lighter aesthetic blogger style sort of thing, like whitish stuff. And you guys have noticed. So thank God. Thank you for noticing that I'm trying on my Instagram. I like noticed that I've really been growing on Instagram. And so I wanted to like try out a new feed and stuff. And it's kind of been working. And I've just always been someone who doesn't have a nice feed. And like I kind of accepted it. But now we're out here with a good feed and I can't believe that it's, yeah, that that's me right now. So I'm going to show you guys what I've learned, like how I edit my photos and yeah. So the number one tip that I have for you guys is you need to plan out your content. And what I say by that is I like to take a lot of photos of like different stuff and then I'll like keep it there and I might not post it all at the same time because... You need to see like what matches the best like I used to only post photos of myself and it would always be like photos of like a selfie like it's a crop like this and then I'll post another one right like this and it just does not look good like aesthetically so you kind of need to do a selfie and then maybe a picture of the sky and then maybe a picture of you holding a drink and then maybe a standing photo like a more full frame one okay so I'm kind of skipping a step but I'll go back to it so once you have your photos, you filter them, which I will talk about later, and then I use this planning app that helps you to really get your content organized. So an example of how I like to try to like plan my feed and like stagger things, that's the word. You try to stagger things, highly recommend. Okay, so as you can see, I have this like cloud and ocean photo, and then there's a photo of me, but it's cropped like this sort of. It's pretty close up, but not completely. And then next I go in on a zoom in, same dress, same print for kind of like continuity, but I'm holding a drink. It's like something else. And then the next photo I did was a mirror selfie, but it was kind of interesting because the mirror was kept into like this little circle. By the way, if you guys are interested in it, I can um, definitely link it down below. It's the cutest mirror ever. That I've it's so pretty and it's not expensive at all. And then I do a more close up of that shot once again. And it's like the sweater and like my hands like just tugging it a little bit and then I go for a more wider shot of like with my pants in it with like the city background that's an old photo and then I do a sky shot once again it kind of helps just like clean up the canvas no that's not the word I don't know okay but then next I'm standing it's more of like a outfit picture more zoomed out and then I go in for a close-up of my hand. So as you can see, a lot of the stuff that I do, I post like a lot of twos. So I'll take one of like this and then like a close-up of the outfit or like something like that, you know? So yeah, that's pretty much how I do it. I make sure I'm not in the same position in the photo at the same time. Like I can't be standing like doing a wide outfit shot for every single post or else it does not look good aesthetically. So I used to always just consider if the photo itself look good but now I consider it more of like as a whole and that's really helped me with my feed and you can definitely plan it out move stuff around in your planning app which helps a ton so the planning apps that I really like to use are Unum and Preview but I'm going to be showing you guys Unum because I use Preview for my other Precious by Kate jewelry account Instagram so I'm gonna show you, it's pretty much the same thing. Okay, so, ooh, you kinda get a sneak peek of my upcoming photos, but honestly, I can't find a way to make them cohesive, so I'm gonna have to work on it later. But, anyways, as you can see, it loads in all the photos that you currently already have on your Instagram, so like you sync it together. And it's really useful because you can do grid shifts, so I press the bottom right and it like moves your feed, like along which square will be the next photo and then you can move your stuff around. Since my most recent photo was me standing, I'll make sure that like, for example, I can't put that one there because then I'm standing again and then it's just, it just doesn't look good. So I'm gonna maybe put this little quote that I found and then space it out and then do a grid shift and then see if I like how like the next photo would look with it. So yeah. You kind of just have to play around with it and definitely follow a lot of like people who have that aesthetic that you want to have because it's 
helped me immensely okay so now let's get to the part where probably most of you guys were asking which is how I filter my photos so I use Lightroom CC it is a free app that you can download in the App Store I for the longest time thought that it, you had to pay for it because you have to pay for the laptop version which is like hundreds of dollars but this one is free so yeah so I do have presets for you guys to buy and download if you want and you can check them out down below I just put them on Precious by K which is my jewelry company but you know let's what if someone wants presets too I don't know I didn't want to have to like make a new website so I just put them on there so using these presets are super super easy I spent a lot of time trying to figure out like how I wanted to edit I bought a ton of people's presets to try out until I finally figured out like kind of like what I liked because there's a lot of things that you can change on Lightroom like highlights shadows exposure like the color mix and split toning grain like stuff like that like everyone kind of has their different styles so how I personally learned it was just buying a ton of people's presets which was a little bit expensive but you know eh, my Instagram looks good now so the presets that I'm selling are only $10 and they're the four that I use the most often so it comes with mirror shadow natural and layout and I will explain how to use each one I'm going to show you guys how to download the presets and install them into Lightroom, but if you already know how, then you can skip this part. So once you place your order, then you can go to your email and there will be a link to download it. So just click the download button, then it'll bring you to Safari. It'll see if you want to download it, click download again, and then watch as it's loading on the top right. Once it's downloaded, then just tap it again and it'll open up in your files, I think it's called. Yeah, your files app on the iPhone and then you open up the zip right here it'll open up into a folder then you click the folder and there's your presets okay so then just go and select all of them and then in the bottom left do that thing and then click save for images when you open up your camera roll it should show as four little white squares but don't be concerned so then now I'm gonna go to the Lightroom app open it up and then in the bottom right, import your photos from camera roll. And then you'll see these like dark looking squares. Click them. They'll show like raw on them. So just click those four, add them in. So you'll see they popped up at the top. And then you just click one of them. So I'm going to kind of pick the strawberry one first. This one's called layout. If you long press on the photo and then you can see like the before and the after. Okay, so then you go to the top right, there's these three dots, you'll click it, and then you wanna click create preset, which is third to the bottom, and then you'll get to name it up here. So this one's called layout, and then maybe you'll put like Kate Lee. Scroll to the left, and then create preset again. This one's called shadow, oops, by Kate Lee. I cannot spell, okay. And then scroll again. This one's called Mirror Selfie. Oh, wait, I think I just called it Mirror. Honestly, it doesn't matter. You can name it whatever you want. So, whatever. And then lastly, top right again, the three dots create preset. And this one's called Natural. Okay. Wait. Okay. So, oh, I didn't explain like which each one is for. So, Natural is best for when you're taking like natural light photos is what I mean so it just enhances it subtly and it makes the greens a little bit more muted which is what I personally like mirror is for mirror selfies it brightens it up makes your outfit pop more and then shadows is when you have like a really dark photo like this you can see like my face was really like dark and my skin looked kind of grayish which is not cute so then once I applied the filter it just brightened everything up and it made it look a lot more airy and it'll help my feed look more cohesive because it brightened up it brightened up all the shadows lastly flat lay is basically when you have like a layout on your bed like a bowl of stuff or if you want to lay out like some of your favorite beauty products or use it for when I'm at a cafe with food and yeah just stuff like that so now that your presets are created then you're ready to start importing your own photos and applying the filters onto them okay so you'll go to the bottom right same thing as last time import from camera roll scroll down to like the photos that you want to import so shout out to Caitlin she took a bunch of photos of me earlier today before I came home from school once again, it was embarrassing because a lot of people saw me, but that's okay. We're out here getting content, okay? 
So I usually go in my camera roll and I favorite my favorite picks because my friends all make them take a ton so that I can pick from which ones end up good because I'm not a one-shot wonder. So from the top it says like camera roll, you can click it and then go to your favorites. And then, oh uh, there's too many favorites. I need to narrow it down later, but I'm just gonna pick this one for now. So now from the bottom bar again, you're gonna go all the way to the right to presets, click that. And then you can decide like which one you wanna use. So for me, this one's in natural light, so I'm picking natural, but this is how it would look with layout. This is it with mirror. This is it with shadow, but I'm gonna pick natural because it's natural lighting. And you just click this check mark on the bottom right, and there you are. So this is the before, and this is the after. So I'm gonna show you guys how to alter your photos a little bit. So I'm gonna click light at the bottom, and I feel like my pants are really bright in this, because they're white obviously so I think I might knock down the highlights a little bit more as you can see you can see that's like changing mm -hmm. what was that before I'm gonna go undo okay it was at negative 10 I feel like I might bring it down to like negative 12 it's really subtle but it's something you can also play around with like exposure if you want it to be even brighter I might bump it up a tiny bit and then down on whites you can see like how the whites affect it a lot I kind of want it to, eh, no I think zero is fine I don't really need to change it and then these are the blacks you can play around with that as well I think I want to pull down the shadows a little bit because the sunlight was pretty harsh and it made my hair look like kind of whitish do you know what I'm saying like right here and stuff so I'm just pulling down the shadows a little bit color is where you can change the white balance so that's on the bottom bar again so i moved to color right here and you can change the temperature if you want so right now i have plus four for the yellow you can make it a little bit cooler if you want i feel like i like it at the warmer tone and then i'll keep the tint there thing yeah so that's pretty much it so all i really changed was in the light section because every photo has different lighting like a little bit so you might need to change it and then once I'm ready, just click check mark and you're ready to save it to your camera roll. So yay. So I had my lovely friend Liana send me some of her photos unedited so that I could show you guys like how easy it is to just apply a filter really quickly. So the first photo is this flat lay. So I'm gonna scroll to presets and then apply layout right here. See look, one touch and it's pretty much perfect. I don't think I'm gonna change it at all. If anything, I think it could be slightly warmer, so maybe I'll do a plus three on the temperature, but nah, you don't really need it. This next photo is her clothing rack, it's so cute. So this one doesn't totally fit an exact filter that I have, but I feel like it's kind of in between layout and shadow. Because she's indoors, right, so it's kind of shadowy and then the layout isn't, it's like, you know, just still stuff. So I'm just going to try both. I think I like layout the best, so I'll just keep it there. I don't think it needs any more adjustments. Next up is a food pick. Oh, and then, oh, she has two food picks. I'm going to pick the sushi because that's cuter. Okay, so we're going to go to presets really fast. Just do layout. You can try a bunch, but yeah, I'm, I'm sure layout would be the best because that's the one it's made for. And there we go. Look at that sexy raw fish. Um... It is kind of like warm because the table you can see is warm so I think I might pull down the temperature a little bit like that so yeah it's slightly less like orangey next photo ooh selfie look at her she's so pretty so presets then this one's definitely natural lighting and it looks perfect you can also try shadow if you want a little bit less because you can see there's obviously a shadow on her face but I think the point of it was to be kind of moody, so I'm gonna go for natural, but you could also do shadow if you want. I like how this looks. I don't think you need to adjust it at all anymore, so yeah, that's it. So yeah, that's pretty much the end of my video. This is my tips and whatever I have on how to get the perfect feed and like a cohesive, light, airy like look. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to DM me at kkatelee. I try to respond to as many DMs as I can or comment them down below. I hope that this video was able to help you answer any of your questions or if you're just 
curious and if you want to see more content like this then make sure you hit that subscribe button like it and yeah that's pretty much it i will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>